Are you worth the international? Yes. We're worth the Reich's Pact and the international. No, us, do Canada do not join my war. I will join your wars, but you do. I don't want the AI going to war with Germany. I feel like that's going to lead to some bad things. I remember in the original version of um, Hi, all right. Back in Hearts of Iron 2, there was actually a decision. Like, if you were playing as the Entente, you did not have to go to war with the International. You could have chosen, actually, to get revenge on Germany for World War I. It's one of the options you had for when the Second Veil Creek began. But I'm, def I'm like, you know, 120% sure that's not in the game anymore. Okay, so we're now at War of the Hardy Commune. Okay. And there's a dangerous naval invasion of Bismarck Sea. They're landing up there. The cowards. Okay, we're we're. I have one unit here. Okay, so the AI has landed in a port. Um, let's deploy these guys here. And we're gonna sign you under a different army. Why not underneath them? And then deploy these units in that front. Why don't you be purple? No, we already have purple. Why don't you be like this weird teal color? Are you planning on going to war with Japan? Uh, no, because they're scary. They're actually sending a lot of troops over to New Guinea. They, they don't want me in New Guinea. They're, I like how they're doing all this new invasion in New Guinea while I'm just invading my way into Hanoi and they don't give a single shit. I think we, we might need to like double invasion... Like, get another invasion here. Just against, like, these two provinces. We'll maybe need to sacrifice a couple of units for this. But, you know, let's let's prepare these invasions. Why can I not assign? Not assign this as order. Oh, yeah, because you over here already uh, capped out. That's why. Nah, you, you don't you worry about that afterward. Let's bring two here. And we'll bring two on this plan. But you don't have enough uh, air superiority or naval superiority over there. That's fine. Actually, they did put a lot of units over here. Which again, it, it's fine. I'm not. I'm not too concerned with that. Germany's Asia actually is almost dead. I think we take Singapore. That's basically going to be the end of the war. Right, a noise fall in, and then in a moment, you guys won't actually have any territory. Do you have any ports in Indochina? I don't see another invasion happening. Your way back up to this port. And you should be okay with that. And then, you know, let's say bring these guys back to Saigon. They can navally reinforce relatively quickly, I would say. And now that they've been kicked out as well, let's put another two down Saigon. Should be good. I mean, Germany is actually kicking the ass of France. <laughs> They're actually doing very, very well. Much better than I was actually anticipating, even though Norway is killing Sweden right now. You guys don't have a naval invasion plan quite yet. We are at War 2 Sicily. We're at War with a lot of people right now. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. The, we, we, can't, we could go National Populist as, as Australia. There is a plan for that. Stop this, stop this for, for a second. The shifter control. No. Pick them up, shift click, and then click on the desired order. Yeah, do this order first. Then we'll wait a couple of days and activate the other order. 
this province. Could go up. You know, let's let's get a chief uh, air force. Let's go for some close air support. And then now we'll launch our second invasion behind this. These two guys might end up being killed. Bleeding is dead. Yeah, France actually doing very poorly this campaign. Yeah, what we're hoping for is that these troops here will get drawn out. And what I also want to do, why are we importing so much rubber? Don't import any rubber. Let's build a port here. I don't know if it's going to finish in time. Probably not. I mean, how long will that take? June 7th? That's, that's very far away. Who's defending? 72. We do have air superiority. That's knocking them down right now. By It's knocking them down. Sometimes the school tips don't want to show up. Right now, it's about 16%. Not the worst, but by far not the, uh, the best I've seen. Yes, you come up here. We just need to take this port. We take this port. Uh, it'll be done in three days. You need to force attack to not... Just to keep this going for a bit. And then we'll need to send reinforcements over here. Probably the troops from Singapore. Are you there yet? Okay. Now we deploy here. These units will deploy here. And there we go. We've landed in Singapore successfully. Okay, we got some of Air Superior over there, but that's okay. You're going to secure this. After that, you might as well go to Europe. Let's oh No, not computers. Let, let's go for uh, a national university. We have no fuel right now, so our navy that we got um, just docked. Nobody's free to be anywhere else. And you know, might as well go for nuclear research. It just gives a 4% research speed. Which isn't the best, but by far is not the worst. And our heavy tanks are on the way. Let's move you over here so you can actually at least uh, connect. Enforcement. Why do you go this way? Is it not my... Like, this seems faster. You know what I mean? Like, is there a straight here? There is. Okay. So there is a straight. So it's going to take a little bit longer to get our troops over to where uh, they need to be than I originally anticipated. Bring you over here. Bring you here. Lang Song shouldn't take too long to kill. Well, we at least need to get our way into Europe. Okay, we can actually go here. Delete your plans. Wait, you don't you don't have a naval base, you idiot. And let's prepare a naval invasion from you to Ancona, because it doesn't look like there's actually any troops there. The AI are not actually making any uh Good naval invasions. Name a better duo. Let's move our way towards Singapore. Singapore should, I think, be the last city we need here. Our air force is very, very fuel intensive. Oh, okay. And the CSA is still doing very well for itself, which is a little scary. And Singapore will then, then be surrounded. I want you on this front. You think we can just kill Singapore? Kuala Lumpur is worth 3. Singapore is worth 20. 
I think Honol uh, Singapore should be enough for just for us to win the war outright. They have a big naval They have a level 7 port in Singapore? Excuse me? Oh, that that's a lot of units here. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, they don't actually have a port, so it's actually not as bad as it kind of looked. As long as you hold Port Mosby, we are going to last stand to you. Then these guys actually have no supplies, and they're basically just going to die. Even if they get, you know, encircled, it's not that big deal. Yeah, that, that fort is killer. But no, we're crossing our river. If you're crossing our river, does it use the regular fort or the naval fort? I don't actually quite remember. Let's move our way up towards Georgetown. How many men have we lost this war? We've lost 15,000. Not actually that bad. Definitely could be worse. The thing is, like, if we lose Port Mosby, it actually means that these guys are going to get a lot more supplies. So let's help them out as much as we possibly can. Looks like they, they are holding. Do another last stand. Japan's declared war on Germany's Asia. That doesn't really matter because they've already lost Singapore. I think they're... You can't invade the East Germany's Asia the moment I kill them, Japan. Come on. Georgetown's going to fall. That's going to be another victory point for us. How are you not dead? How do you still have 3% victory points? Is it because of all of your little your little stupid islands? Honduras worth one. Really, all your tiny islands count for enough victory points to... Okay. You say so. I guess they also have... I mean, that's worth one. Oh, because they own this territory as well. But, I mean, they're actually directly on the border with uh, the former government of China, which is the Japanese puppet state. So as soon as Japan takes that city, we, we, we're good to go. Okay, Venezuela joined the International. Well, Papua, southern, um, southern New Guinea is our territory. By default. Which is what it was in the beginning of World War II. There we go. Germany's age has fallen. I actually now have a, a port over here in Weiwei. Not this one, though. This one, for some reason, is still owned by Germany's Asia. Let's maintain our garrison in the Singapore. Crush whatever troops of Germany's Asia are left. And does Japan get claims on all this stuff as well? They do have some claims. And can I now claim more land? All owned states are also currently controlled. Okay, well... We need to... Do we not actually control this state, technically? Or is it because any of our... Oh, no, it's because this island over here is... Considered occupied by the AI. Or occupied by Germany. We can't actually do these focuses. That's fine. We'll worry about that afterwards. We'll get an undergraduate pack with the Japanese. Brush whatever army is left from Germany's Asia. And Germany, you should soon want to... Belgium actually capitulated. That's actually going to throw a major wrench into the operations of Germany. So a lot of their occupation was actually controlled technically by Belgium. Oh, you guys actually took a... You guys actually took a naval port. Congratulations. Okay, so let's send our units up there. Help out Sardinia on this front line. Again, we're definitely at war with um, two sisters in Rome, but as long as we're in territory not occupied by us and occupied by our allies, it shouldn't make a, uh, a difference. Okay, Transmere declared war on the Soviet Union. 
Will they be able to hold the port long enough for our troops to arrive? Yes, they did. Okay, Germany and Japan have ended hostilities. I think they got like one. Actually, is it, is it the thing where it kicks them out of the faction? Yes. They're not, they're technically not in a faction anymore. So, we will take all the islands close to our territory. I feel are rightfully ours. Thank you, thank you. All of this is mine. And you know what? I do deserve a treaty for it. Let's take that one as well. And I think we also will eventually claim... You know, end, end that turn. You know what? That's good enough for now. Japan, you can take the other islands. I feel good in our conquest. We are, we're, we're actually still technically a war with Germany. Apparently that event, uh, when it fires for Japan, doesn't actually fire like, for the Reichspack. Okay then. Um, so, technically Japan is still at war with, yeah, no, Germany's not at war with Japan anymore. Apparently Japan also gets, um... Thailand in that war as well, which is a little strange, but okay. Even though I don't think that makes any sense. <laughs> if anything, it should go to the beam of India, but so be it. We could go, we can claim these islands. I don't think we need to. We can demand Japanese claims afterwards. We can go to war with Japan, but... I think what we have now is good enough. Uh, oil operations in Sarawak. Yes, yeah, so I do want to get some oil. And is there, is there a way just to peace out Germany? I don't want to be at war with them anymore. I feel like that event should also fire for us, but it does not. Okay, now Japan has some territory here. Do we not, like, release this territory? I don't know, but Australia is now looking pretty good. We'd love to see it. I think, like, is there an event? Uh, offer peace. I mean, what we can do? Okay, we're, we're gonna do. It's not cheating. Cause I feel like this event should fire for both countries or anybody who's at war with Germany's Asia. But apparently, it doesn't. It, it only works for Japan. We're gonna turn off the AI. Um, then we're going to. Allow dip, Diplo, egg Germany. I guess it didn't really matter who we tagged as. Offer peace and then tag Australia. And then we will accept the peace. And then we won't do anything. And that should, the tree was rejected by the German AI. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do it again then. Offer peace. Tag Germany. And then we will. And then tag. There we go. Then we got to turn back the AI. And then turn off allow Diplo. And that should have fixed it. We're no longer with the Reich's Pact. Which I think makes way more sense. And now I will join whatever wars. Okay, that, that war's over now. And we're getting on a Grush Pact with, with China as well. It's not a big deal. Do we need anything else? I mean, equipment's looking good all around. If anything, we just want more manpower. And maybe we also want to produce more heavy tanks. Okay, so the fate of Indochina will liberate an Indochinese puppet. So now I got the Indo Chinese Federation. And then Malaysia. I mean, you are. I don't have a claim on you, unfortunately. I should have a claim on this area. And we would have gotten a claim on you if I was still at war, but we're no longer at war. I mean, they only get Malaya, they only get this one province. 
But this all, province has so much stuff. You know, let's military occupy it. We lose a little bit of stability, a little bit of war support. Eh, not a big deal. But everything else is proper territory. If you look at um, factions, then that's a pretty good looking Entente, I would say. Of course, we're still over the Baharde Commune. Actually, we're not technically over the Baharde Commune. It will cost us 180. Why would it cost me? Who, are we have? Who do we have a truce with? We got a truce with the Reich's Pact. If it's truce to you for some reason? No. Where did all my units go here? Wait, why do I have? Why do I only have one unit now? Where did they all go? Oh no! Well, you're gonna play over there now. Apparently, a bunch of my units just got defeated or like lost, or maybe they got exiled. I'm actually not too sure. We're getting on aggression back with the Germans. Brazil's declared war on the right, on the Entente. Very cool. Yeah, I don't know where my army just went. I'm a little confused. Oh yeah, because we're not gonna at war with you anymore. Why? Because we technically have a truce until the 22nd of July. I don't know why, but okay. We will worry about that in the future. We've got non-aggression packs with everybody in the Reich's pact. Does that true have a truce with you? No, we can send units to you. The purple army, let's delete you. And where's my scouting navy? Well, we'll start an invasion into... Into India. Let's go from Georgetown to let's just say Calcutta for now, but you know that doesn't need to be set in stone. Okay, we're technically at war with Venezuela. We're at war with Brazil as well. Um yeah, you know, let's get mechanized offense. Do you think there's any enemy troops in Calcutta or these other ports? 